Support for Radio Friends comes from IT Como, offering computer and IT services for small businesses and residential clients. IT Como can set up remote work at home solutions and data security and backup systems and upgrade your company email to more modern platforms. IT Como can also help you get the most from your technology at home. Learn more at itcomo.com. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on this Friday, November the 18th. I want to introduce you to Dr. Chris Link, who is with us, Integrative Medicine Clinic in Jefferson City. Always a pleasure to have you here. And it's great to be here, Paul. You you always come out here with some good medical information and news. Today, we're going to talk about um, obesity, people who are overweight and eating. What's the percentage, the number of people in, in our country that are overweight? So right now, recent data tells us that two-thirds of the U.S. population, two-thirds of the population is either overweight or obese. And Paul, when you go back to 1960, only 13% of the population was overweight or obese. So there's a change, and it's a change in what we're eating that's doing this. So what is the difference between being overweight and obesity? So there there is this parameter that we use um, called the body mass index. And people that have a body mass index over 25 and between 25 and 30 uh, are considered overweight. And if your body mass index is over 30, and that's your height divided by your weight, it's a calculation that we do. If it's over 30, then you're obese. Now, it used to be, I remember years ago, didn't you have to, used to have to sit in a tub with water and they measured how much fat you had on your body? So there are there are different ways to do it, and that's one of the ways. And so you can submerge a person and you can get the, the percentage of body fat. Um, and But the way we do it now is we do it by DEXA scan. You know, DEXA scan is what is commonly used for um, for bone density assessment, but it also assesses body composition. These cost about $150. They're exceptionally low radiation, much, much less than a chest X-ray. And it can tell you your body percent of lean mass, like muscle and bone, and then fatty tissue. And and many Americans now have 30 to 40 to 50% of their body tissue as body fat. And it's much different than it used to be. But now when you go to the doctor uh, and you get your report every year, it'll tell you uh, your BMI? Yeah, the BMI. Okay, yeah, right. how, how is he coming up with the BMI? By your weight and your height. So with those two parameters, you can put into Dr. Google or your physician can do it at their office, and they can tell you your body mass index. Okay. So it's just based on the height and weight. But So that means, you know, like one of the linemen on uh, the, the Tigers, those guys, you're going to have what seems to be a high BMI because they're big, but they're mostly muscle. So these guys are metabolically healthy. But the problem is, is when the, the tissue turns from, from lean, strong body mass tissue muscle to body fat. And, and, and that is metabolically unhealthy, and it leads to other conditions like high blood pressure and diabetes, dementia, and cancer. And particularly concerning, Paul, is the fat in and around your abdomen. Mm, it, and that's the, hardest, that's the hardest part to take care of. And that? some people, you know, collect that more than other. That's called visceral fatty tissue. And that's, you know, in and around your organs. And particularly fatty liver disease, which is something you've probably heard about and I think a lot of people have. And those, and that's a really, it's a mischievous fat that's in, in and around our organs. And it causes inflammation and hypertension and diabetes and these sorts of things. Okay, what's the best way to try to lose weight? And and I'm not talking about going on a a fad diet. Right. What's the best way? Right, because you don't want to do a fad diet because if you lose, you know, 10 or 15 pounds, you're going to gain it right back. So you really want to kind of do a lifestyle change. And what we find in our clinic when we we work with a lot of people to lose weight, the biggest, there's four things we do, but the most important thing we do is we have to eat less carbohydrates. So recent studies by the NIH tells us that Americans are eating about 400 calories more now than they ate in 1960. And we have much more obesity now. And that those calories are primarily the ultra-processed foods, the chips, the breads, the crackers, the cookies, uh, the sweets, the, uh, the sugary cereals. We're eating 400 more calories of those a day. And those highly processed carbohydrates increase our insulin in our body, actually make us more hungry, and our insulin tells us to store those calories as body fat. Now, are you saying that pasta is not good for you? 
Well, you know, pasta can be a great food. But, because you know, if when you, you, go when to, you think of pasta, I think of the Mediterranean diet. Absolutely. And, yeah. And here's a little bit of the, uh, uh, the confusion about that. So if you go to northern Italy and you have pasta, you're going to have you're going to have a small serving of pasta with a wonderful array of other vegetables. Excuse me. Other. Yeah. Other vegetables and meats and things like this, fish and poultry, et cetera, and maybe even red meat. But you're not going to have like I often had when I was growing up a big plate of spaghetti, which was primarily pasta with some spaghetti sauce on it. So there's many, many more carbs in there. And, and to effectively lose weight, if we can bring people down to about 70 grams of carbs daily, they can consistently lose weight. If it can stay in that range, they can also keep the weight off. So number one key is lower carbs, about 70 grams a day. And how do you know how many carbs you're getting. So when you look at the package, it'll tell you. Or a great, another great resource is, again, you could say, how many carbs? You can just go to Dr. Google and put Google and put um, how many carbs are in an avocado or how many carbs are in an apple, how many carbs are in a banana. You'll find that there's 25 grams of carbohydrates in a banana. So that might be a third of your carbs for the whole day. But instead, you might say, how many, how many grams of carbs are, for example, in a, in a cup of broccoli? Well, the, the, the carbohydrates that are really in the sugar farm in broccoli is only one or two grams. So you can eat all of the green vegetables, the broccoli, the asparagus, the, the green leafy vegetables you want all day long. Eat plenty of healthy meat and dairy and fish and have some nuts. So a tremendously healthy diet, but lower in the breads, lower in the potatoes, lower in the pasta, and really avoid those all to process things like chips and bakery goods, et cetera. Uh, sweetened cereals that really drive our hunger and make us uh, put more fat on our tissue. Okay, okay. We're, we're almost out of time, but you had, I was looking, there, there are a couple of new medications for weight loss. If you could just touch on that briefly. Uh, sure. So uh, in, in addition to the carbohydrates, the other thing people need to do is eat more protein because that lowers hunger. And if those things don't work, and that does work for most people, Paul, there are two new medications that we've learned about over the last, oh, five or six years that has really helped people with diabetes, but we also found that it helped those diabetics lose weight. And in big studies, New England Journal, the medication Monjaro, and that's spelled M-O-U-N-J-A-R-O, and the medication Wegovy, W-E-G-O-V-Y, these are medications that are injected once a week by a simple device, a little pen, a little click, not very painful. And, and they can be used in people without diabetes, and they drastically lower hunger. And they allow some people that have a real difficult time getting to a healthy weight um, and to be healthy metabolically, it helps them. So we don't go to that first, but it's nice now that we have that tool. Okay. And they can be very effective. And the best thing to do is check with your doctor. Absolutely, positively. All right. So if people want more information, they can contact you, uh, doctor, at uh, Integrative Medicine Clinic. Right. Where? 632-5585 in Jefferson City. And then also my website, Dr. Chris Link. Dot com, D-R-C-H-R-S, link.com. And there's a nice video on our weight loss strategies on the front page. Okay. All right. So if you question, just Google Integrative Medicine Clinic in Jefferson City. Chris, thank you so much for coming by. Pleasure. Pleasure chatting with you. I always learn something. Thanks. All right. We're out of time. If there's something you would like to hear or see, I would love to hear from you. Drop me an email. That's Pepper P at Missouri.edu. Bye-bye.